this happened five years ago or three years ago, maybe hindi ko ka will happen to me. I don't know. Because it's really, kahit malakas ka na, it will fuck you up in your brains. And then, alam mo yan, it's really traumatic. And then, and then I'm, I'm really grateful because God is really working. Like, God is in control in my life right now. And then, para kong minumold niya na parang, there's something in you in the future that kailangan mo itong pagdaanan. You need to, uh, God really built up my character. God really, alam mo yun, to a point na with all those hate, with all those bash, you know what? Trust me, it's love that's inside of me. It's love and understanding. It's love that, okay, this is just, I just need to love more. I just need to do more, you know, for these people to understand what, ano ba talaga yung importance ng buhay, right? And then going back to the topic, going back to, to what I saw a, a vision after after what happened to me. Parang, you know what? It, it's hindi cool yung ano. Hindi natin kinakaangat yun. Hindi natin kinakataas yun. I understand if you post something and then you will educate. But if to post something and then, or, or, or comment and then, you know, say, tanga or bobo, imagine if I will do that to some to sa kapamilya mo, sa mother mo, or sa iyo, or sa kapatid mo, or sa kakilala mo. Trust me, hindi siya magiging masarap, hindi siya magiging cool. Alam mo yun, yung, alam mo yung simple comment mo, yung initial reaction. I, I salute and respect those people na yung initial reaction nila was to message me. Yung initial reaction nila was to educate me. Yung initial reaction nila was the complete thought of their caption is to, instead of putting fire of what I did, they used their voice to correct me and to, to correct the misinformation and to, alam mo yun, para, ma, para ma-stop yung nangyayari. And again, going back to the topic, kasi ayoko magkarambol-rambol, magkajambol-jambol ulit yung sasabihin ko. Um, you know what? What we post today, what kung ano yung mga pinagsasabi natin sa social media ngayon, even our captions like Bobo, Tanga, and all these things, it will take effect sa mga younger generations. Nakikita nila yun. Nakikita ng mga bata yun. Alam niyan. Nakikita ng anak mo yun na ganyan magsalita yung nanay ko, ganyan magsalita yung kapatid ko. Nakikita ng mga bata yun. And you know what? When they see these things, it will implant the new normal in their head na okay, it's cool na magsabi ng tanga sa kapwa. It's cool na magsabi ng bobo sa, sa kapwa. And then, you know what? Tayo yung may kasalanan din nun eh. As, as parents, as kapatid. Or ano, di naman natin kinakalakas yun eh. Alam nyo yun, hindi natin kinakaangas yun na magsabi tayo ng ganun. And, you know, it's, it's bullying in social media. And wala siyang pinipiling edad. Even bata, ginagana natin. Even, even yung mga nagsistream na mga bata at sinasabihan natin tanga and all. You know what? This will take effect in their brains. And you know what? Kung ano yung nakikita nila sa social media. I'm not... This is, this is a big problem in the world right now. And if I'm gonna use my platform, that's what God made alam mo yun, made me realize na okay, I need to speak up for this, for this, ano, for this issue. You know what? yung nakikita nila yung mga, mga words na ganyan, yung mga bagay na ganyan. Yan yung, yan yung nadadala nila. Yan yung nadadala nila sa eskwelahan. Alright? And imagine the next generation of, of, you know, these kids will grow up and then they will do another bash again. They will, magiging normal na yung bash and hate. And that's not my mission in life. That's not my purpose in life. My purpose in life is to spread love, is to spread happiness, is to spread the right thing, is to spread God, is to spread light. Right? It's not about it's not about spreading those hateful comments. If hindi ka tinatamaan, maybe maybe you need to alam mo yun, to open your heart more. I'm not pertain I'm not cleaning my my issue of what happened again i'm completely sorry for that but i'm just opening another topic of what god made me realize this time na alam mo kung meron mang meron akong bosses to 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 influence people i want to say that be 
like when you say bobo or tanga, imagine that when you say that in social media, your kids makikita nila yan. Yung anak mo nakikita nila yan. Alam mo yan? Ah, okay po. Cool pala yung maging bobo. And then, imagine your, your kids will just say sa tropa nila, bobo mo, tanga mo. Diba? And then, where... We're spreading that kind of culture already. So, kung sino man yung nanonood ngayon, can you please contemplate? Can you please ask yourself, is this what I want? Is this, ito ba yung gusto kong ituro sa anak ko? Alright? Because everything will start in ourselves. Everything will start in our own family. And then for the people na ano na, yung mga artists, celebrities who told me those kind of stuff, I understand. Naiintindihan ko kung saan sila nang gagaling. I really understand. And then, I just hope and I just pray na sana hindi mangyari to sa kanila or hindi man mangyari sa kapatid nila. Guess, man, you know, what you put in the universe, it will go back to you. you know, boomerang effect yan eh. So, I just hope and pray. Kahit na gaano ka katigas, pero pag si God sinubukan ka, alam mo, wala kang takas. So yun, um, for, these, for these people, lahat na ng hate na ng past, I prayed for every, each and every one of you. And thank you for, alam mo yun, may napatunayan ko sa sarili ko na, okay, nag, nag-grow ako. Hindi ko pinili yung hate, hindi ko pinili yung ano, hindi ko pinili yung ibang path. You know? And then, for these people who are completely saying, ano, bobo and tanga, a lot of people, someone messaged me today, He's a part of the dance community and then told me, told me na isa siya sa mga nag-post ng you know, hate or hate post or ano, something about the issue and then hindi siya makatulog because of the guilt that's happening inside. And then he made the right thing. He messaged me and then of course I appreciate the message. Nag-exchange kami ng message and you know what? Ang sarap lang mabuhay kung ganun yung, ganun yung initial reaction natin. You know? But of course you can't You, you can't change everyone, right? And then I'm just saying na ito yung pinarealize ni Gan sa akin ngayon. And then, you know what? I will be one of the ambassador. I'll choose, uh, kumbaga, binuboto ko yung sarili ko na I, I completely, I completely disagree with that bullying online or cyberbullying or kung ikaw man yung ka- friend man kita na nakikita kung magmumura ka or anything sa social media to a certain topic or to a certain person trust me, hindi tayo pareho ng gusto sa buhay and I don't want my you know gagamitin kong sarili kong platform para iwasan na magiging normal to sa next generation alam mo yan um, I'm completely I, it's, it's, it's a long battle it's a long war of how you will change this this ano yung, yung kultura ngayon natin pag sinasabi nila eh, ganun talaga yung pinag- but for me it's not the end of the alam mo yun it's not the end of the world di ba that's why I have this platform right so sana na get to yung point na yun uh, once you st- once you speak up or once you once you put those words you know let's let's think about it na what if nanay ko yung pinagsabihan ng ganun or what if kapatid ko yung pinagsabihan ng ganun or what if anak ko yung pinagsabihan ng ganun men trust me hindi ka makakatulog for your for your son or for your children na naka-experience ng ganun right and i lahat ng ano lahat ng lahat ng ng message sa akin i really do appreciate it and i'm really 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 grateful of what god alam mo yun paano niya ako ginawang panibagong tao ngayon and I, I really accept the, the, the lesson na um, you need to be accountable and really really be responsible of what you say and then right now I'm using my voice right and then trust me guys bashing or hating or throwing a lot of hateful comments will not give a positive effect in this world trust me Even if, even if, alam mo yun, sabihin mo ikaw na yung pinakamatalino. Even, even the most intelligent people, they make mistake, they make, they fucked up a lot of times. But you need to understand, ano yung ini-implant mo sa mga bata. Nakikita nila to, shit, ang nakakatakot pala magkamali. Ngayon, parang ano, parang wala na pala akong right mag, ano, mag-experimento. Guess nyo yung, yung isang bigger effect na yun na nakikita natin. So imagine mo, sasabihin mo sa tao na shit, ang bobo, and then your, your, your kid or yung anak mo 
is bound to be perfect now. Kumbaga parang kailangan na siyang maging perfect kasi yung nanay niya nagsabi na shit ang bobo ng ganito bobo bobo yung magkakamali. You know, you do you understand what I'm saying? So, kung ako as bata na dapat mag mag mag, mag ano, mag-experiment, pwede normal lang magkamali. Matatakot na ako mag-experimento sa sarili ko ngayon kasi syempre i-judge na ako ng tao, i sasabihan na ako ng ano bobo lahat. That's it. I I hope you understand my whole point of that.